Hi guys, so Jared Huseman here again uh, for this edition of Investment West and uh, my blog here about investing in real estate, uh, specifically commercial real estate, but we also cover investments in general. So for this, uh, for this post we're going to discuss analyzing tenants actually, because if you actually look at commercial investments, primarily it's based on the value of the tenant actually. If there's no tenant involved, no building, no investment's going to make money. So the key basis of any investment is actually always going to start with analyzing the tenant, and then that actually t translates to uh, um, analyze the actual overall investment. Because again, an empty building does not make money. Empty house does not make money. So you must analyze the tenant. Now when it comes to a retail space or a warehouse space, an industrial space, this is actually pretty easy. Um, if you see a, a well-known brand or a chain um, like a TJ Maxx or a Walmart or a Dollar General or any kind of retail nationally recognized brand, even a recognized regional brand like Menards or something uh, for here in the Midwest that we have as a local hardware store, you're obviously going to know that's a solid company and they're going to be willing to pay the lease. Uh, for example, Hy-Vee is a, a grocery store here in uh, Des Moines, Iowa and in the Midwest. Very solid company, so if you see that name, you know they're going to be a solid investment. At likewise, warehouse industrial, very much the same way. Um, you're going to usually be easy to analyze those. Now when you get into the smaller retail sections, when you get into strip centers and small industrial spaces, that kind of thing, at that point you need to overall analyze the business. To do this, you want to look at uh, current financials, current profit and loss, uh, current balance sheet. You want to look at two to three years of taxes. And you basically want to track the trends of what's that business doing. Is it stagnant? Is it in a growth phase? Is it in a decline phase? If the business um, is in a decline phase of any kind, you want to be leery of what that business is going to do. Perhaps they're going to go bankrupt or lose their business. Thus, they can't pay their rent. Thus, you as an owner cannot make money. So be really care careful of that. Um, you can talk to the owners themselves. A lot of times in these businesses, you can talk to clients, customers, employees. And a lot of this can actually be taken care of in overall just general inspection of the business. Or you just walk in actually and start talking to people. As well as a qualified commercial broker who knows the local market, the area, they can also help a lot with uh, this due diligence phase of analyzing the tenant. Now when it moves to apartments, it's a little bit different. In apartments, you cannot analyze the tenants because you have multiple tenants. You have tons of them. You have 20 tenants, 30 tenants, 1,000 tenants, whatever it may be. So in apartments, you really need to analyze the actual managing company, the manager who manages the building. Now again, this is a big apartment complex. The manager is probably professional. They probably have a lot of experience uh, behind them. So it's probably going to be a little bit easier to manage that and uh, do the uh, background checks, the due diligence phase on that overall managing company and the experience levels. Now when we get to smaller apartment complexes that are often managed by one person, one individual, you essentially need to uh, look at that individual person. You need to run a background check on that person. You need to ask them for uh, current rent rolls and income statements from the actual property they should have. And just look for correlations, look for trends, but as well as analyzing the actual person. Meet the person, interview the person, interview the maintenance staff, interview the, uh, the tenants as tenants when you're walking through an apartment complex, what they think of the manager, and that will give you a pretty good idea of uh, what the manager for an apartment complex is actually doing. Now, on the very small scale of investments, when you actually invest in a single family house, when you're actually buying a house, or buying a duplex. In this case, you can essentially analyze the tenant, but you essentially need to take a little bit of a bet, a little bit of a gamble, if the tenant is already existing. So if you're buying an investment property, a house, and there's already a tenant in place, all you can really do is read through the lease, you can meet the tenant, you can meet the landlord, and you can look at the background check that hopefully was done, background application that was hopefully done um, on this tenant when they moved into the property. If the landlord has no application for the property and you just meet the tenant, you've got to take it all as a risk. So there can actually be quite a bit of risk in uh, buying just a single family investment property that already has a tenant in place. It be very troublesome. Um, you're basically taking a risk on getting it re-rented out because in experience, about half those tenants typically fail when you buy a property that's already existing with a tenant in place. Now if you're buying a property and you're renting out yourself, just make sure to do a simple credit check, background check. Um, usually don't allow criminals in there, and just do a basic check on uh, income requirements and job history. So those are just real quick three credit, background, job, employment, history, and income. Three qu quick ways to analyze a residential tenant. So 
Those are a few different ways to analyze tenants from the high up commercial national retail chains down to the basic lowly tenants. Um, lowly tenants, that's part of the I say lowly tenants. To the single family investment tenants, excuse me. So that's a little bit of a breakdown there. As always, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to comment, ask me. I'd be happy to help answer them or just email me your questions and I'll help to take care of them. And until, guys, until next vlog, guys, take care. Have a great day.